everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Christy. Uh, this feels so weird. It feels so weird to be filming because I have not filmed in probably two months. If you are new here, hello, welcome. I did see on my little YouTube uh, studio app that I have reached 2,000 subscribers, which is absolutely thrilling. So welcome, welcome in. I am so excited to have reached that milestone. So thank you so much for subscribing. This video is probably largely gonna be for people who have been watching my channel, just cause you might be a little bit more invested in my life. I hope so anyway, I don't know. So for anyone who missed it or anybody who was new, I had a baby. Oh, my precious little angel. Uh, so a lot to catch you up on, a lot to share, a lot to update on the channel going forward. Uh, this is probably gonna be my first update in over two months. I'm hoping to have this video up on Tuesday, it's a Saturday. Uh, it has taken three days for me to sit down and film this video. I'm currently filming this while my baby is napping. Uh, so I'm hoping that I could get this edited sometime today, Sunday, or Monday for Tuesday. But we will see what happens. Later on in this video, we'll touch on, you know, everything going forward with my channel, which I'm still going to be uploading, but obviously it could take some time. Anyway, let's start at the beginning. So first, I had my baby, my precious little angel. He is six weeks old. Ugh. I just love him so much. I'm so obsessed with him, you guys. I just could stare at him all day. I just wanna cuddle him all day. He is so sweet, so precious. I just love him so much. It's like so painful. I'm not gonna really go into the details of like labor and delivery. Um, I don't know if I ever will. That feels like a lot of information to share, but baby is healthy. We're all healthy and happy, recovering well. He's just the cutest little angel. I just love him so much. Miss him when he's sleeping. Like truly anytime I'm like not with him, and he's like napping. I'm like, but I miss you. It's so painful. I just love him so much. So obviously we have been in the throes of newborn life for the past six weeks. That is probably why I look so tired. I can't even imagine. I cannot wait to edit this video and see how exhausted I look. I put on a little bit of makeup. This is like the third time I've put on makeup in the past six weeks. And I am like, oh my gosh, I feel like I can't even cover how exhausted I look, <laughs> but it is so worth it. I feel like it's so crazy how the body just kicks in with adrenaline. And even though you are running on so little sleep, I mean, at least in my personal experience, like I feel fine. Like I am like somehow pushing through. I always have the energy to provide him and it's just kind of crazy. It's crazy how your body is like, okay, girl, we got this and you're gonna amp it up, you're gonna have energy, we're gonna be fine. And you just have so much to give your baby, which is crazy because you're exhausted. Like, I don't know if I'm making any sense. Honestly, my brain is mush. So if I'm not making sense during this video, <laughs> so sorry. I probably will not be showing him much on here. Obviously when I'm doing like a day in my life type of video, that's gonna look a little different <laughs> because the day in my life is so different right now. Um, I do think it'd be fun to film one of those right now, like a day in the life of my newborn. I feel like that would be fun though. How interesting it will be, not really sure. I don't know, I, let me know in the comments if you think that'd be fun to watch. I feel like that would be fun to film, so just let me know. I don't think that I will be sharing a lot of the baby. Um, I don't know, I just, I think I said this in another video, but I have watched too many episodes of Law & Order SVU to like be okay with putting my child on the internet. Everyone do as you please, it's your life, no judgment here, but I just, I have a paranoia and I know what's out there, so. Probably not gonna be sharing much of him. Um, I've shared a couple of pictures on Instagram, but I do think that I'm going to not be doing that as much going forward. Obviously I wanted to introduce him to like family and friends and you guys, if you follow me on Instagram. Uh, so I did do that, but probably won't be showing a ton of him on here. But yeah, we are all happy and healthy and recovering and just loving spending time together. Oh, I just am so obsessed with him, you guys. It's like painful. Like I can hear that he got up from his nap and Barish, my husband, is with him, and I'm like, okay, gotta go. <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> but yeah, so that is the first big news is that I did have my baby. He's so precious, I love him so much. The second big piece of news is that Barish got his US citizenship. You guys, this story is wild, so I am going to tell you more details about this. I'm not gonna tell you details about my birth, but I am gonna tell you details about the citizenship because it was wild. So anybody who has done any type of immigration, um, especially to the US, you know, that it is a to do and it is a process. So long story short, Barsh and I got married in 2018, applied for his green card immediately. Um, if you are in the United States applying for a green card, if you've been married for less than three years, once you're approved for your green card, you do have to apply for a green card extension after a certain amount of time. When we applied for his green card in 2018, that process went by super quickly. He got his green card so fast, which we were really thankful for. And then 
we applied for his green card extension in December 2022. And when you apply for the green card extension, you can also apply for citizenship. So that was what we did, December 2022. Uh, we heard nothing until March of 2023 of this year. And that is when he got a notice to go in for his biometrics, which is when they like fingerprint you, all that good stuff. And then we heard nothing. Radio silence. And obviously things are still very backed up from COVID. I think they have ne like all of these like government offices and systems. I think they've never really recovered from the pandemic. So things are very slow. We also moved from Chicago to Raleigh in 2021. So we weren't sure how that was going to impact the process and like the speed of everything. So in March, he does his biometrics. Then at the beginning of July, before we have the baby, we get a letter that he is to come in for his interview in mid August. And we were like, Oh my gosh. First of all, we had been panicking because we were like, what if he gets the interview letter and he has to go in for his interview and like citizenship test, like right when around when the babies do. Like we were like, oh my God, please God, please no. Because that would have been so stressful. Like, I don't know, just the thought of having to reschedule that a huge appointment just felt, he's crying. Ah. Um, just the thought of like having to reschedule that felt daunting. And we were like, oh my God, we've waited for so long. If we had to reschedule it, that'd be a nightmare, etc." So anyway, great news. We had it for mid August. So at that point, whenever he went for the interview, I was three weeks postpartum. So he goes for the interview. Um, and if you are not familiar with that process, you have to prove your competency in English, speaking, writing, and reading. And you also have to answer, um, like American history, uh, kind of like American history, but what's the word I'm looking for? It's like American history, um, geography, like there's like a whole bunch of different categories of questions, like our political systems, things like that. And it's actually really fun. You can go online and actually look up the citizenship questions and quiz yourself. I feel like I had a field day with this because I was reading these questions that he was supposed to learn. And I was like, Turns out I don't know much about America. <laughs> we quizzed our American friends and family on it and it was actually really entertaining. So if you want a fun activity with you and your family and friends, please look that up. But the way that it works with the citizenship test is that you study a hundred questions. So you have 100 questions and it talks about our government. It talks about holidays. It talks about history, uh, geography, anything like that for America, a hundred questions. You study a hundred of those at your, interview, they ask you 10 questions and you have to get six right. So Barsh and I were like frantically studying this. We studied for months on and off and then like really intensely leading up to his interview, obviously, which was a lot because we were trying to like do this and keep on top of it while having a literal newborn baby. So we're like sitting there like desperately memorizing the day that the constitution was written. And I'm like, I, don't know. I don't, couldn't tell you, but now I know. Do I know? 1878? I already forgot. So anyway, Barsh goes in for the interview. What ends up happening is they ask him the, like the first six questions. He got all six right, so they didn't ask him any more, which was great. He also lucked out because two of the questions were two of the easiest ones. Um, one was, what is the ocean on the west coast of America? And what is the ocean on the east coast of America? Two separate questions. So obviously very thrilled that he got um, two very easy questions, but he passed out flying colors, passed the English competency really easily. The guy's like, okay, so you're approved. Like we're gonna approve for citizenship, thrilling. I didn't go with Barish to the interview. Um, our lawyer had said that it wasn't necessary, especially since we had a three week old baby. Uh, so Barish calls me and he's like, oh my gosh. He's like, I got approved, I passed, everything's good. We're like thrilled. And he goes, yeah. So the guy tells me like, yeah, you're approved. And, and Barish is like, awesome. And then he's like, yeah. And then the guy's like, the ceremony's in an hour. And I was like, what? And Barsh just like, yeah, it's in an hour. And I was like, oh my God, obviously uh, me and the baby, we have to be there. We have to be there for this. This is huge. Barsh and I've been waiting for this for years. Barsh has been waiting this for a decade. So I threw myself together. I mean, mind you, I look horrific. Three weeks postpartum, so tired. I put on a little bit of makeup, throw on a dress, get the baby ready. We try to get out the door because it's like a 20 minute drive. You know, I'm driving, this is my first time driving alone with the baby, screaming his head off, very stressful, but we make it there, we make it there in time. Um, we get to be there for the oath ceremony. It was so special to be a part of. It was so cool to see like all these people getting their citizenship. Everyone took pictures after, but it was so special and so fun. And just, uh, I'm so, I mean, honestly, it, I cannot believe that the ceremony was the same day. Our lawyer was shocked when we called him and told him he was like the same day. We were like, yeah. So obviously thrilled by that though. We were thinking, okay, he gets approved and maybe in three months we're gonna go to a ceremony. We would have never guessed that it all would have happened in the same day. And we left there and we were both like, 
you're a US citizen. Like you're literally a citizen now. This is the craziest thing. Like it all happened in one day. It was so wild. I mean, it didn't all happen in one day. Obviously it was a years long process, but it was insane. I could not believe it happened all like that. And just, I mean, we couldn't believe it. I mean, I feel like for days afterward, we were literally like, you're a US citizen. Like we were able to go and apply for his passport. We also applied for the babies on the same day, which was hilarious and stressful. But we were like, might as well, since we're coming here to do this, we should do his too. So yeah, we applied for both their passports. Like the fact that Barge is gonna have a US passport is just wild. I feel like it still hasn't sunk in. Like we still talk about it. We're just like, this is crazy. It's crazy. I also think that just the fact that we've had two huge life events in the span of like three weeks, I also think that's another thing. It's like the baby kind of eclipses everything. So I don't know. It's just so wild. So we have had a very blessed and amazing few weeks, um, month and a half. Baby boy is so precious. It's so perfect. And Barge is a US citizen. And it's just crazy that all this happened in the span of three weeks. I just can't believe it. So those are the two big updates that I wanted to share with you guys. I also want to just touch on my channel going forward. I'm going to try to upload uh, as many videos as I can while I'm on maternity leave. I'm going to try to stick to my Tuesday upload schedule. Obviously, we're going to see how it goes. Might not be every Tuesday, but I'm going to try. Uh, the days just go by so fast. And obviously, the baby is the priority over anything. Um, I just want to be with him all the time. So I'm going to try to work on videos in the little pockets of time that I have when he naps. So we will see how this goes going forward. I have two videos that I filmed while I was pregnant. So I'm probably going to work on editing those and get those uploaded in the next couple weeks. And then I have a couple ideas for some videos coming up. Some more like kind of lifestyle type videos because obviously we're kind of taking it easy. We're hanging out at home, getting out and about a little bit, but obviously like we're not like flying to Spain tomorrow. So I am excited to get back on the travel content. We have started talking about our plans for the next few months. Once we feel more comfortable with the baby being able to fly, probably once he's at the three month mark. We have a couple ideas. We have a couple ideas we're marinating on to travel. And obviously I will vlog those because that is my favorite thing to share on here. I love to share travel things. And in the meantime, I'm really hoping to be able to show more of Raleigh in this area. I also love sharing that because there's so many places here that I love. So we have some videos coming up. I will try my hardest to get some out in the coming weeks. Uh, I just really appreciate you guys being here. I thank you so much for the support. So many of you reached out to me on Instagram to congratulate me on the baby and on Barsha's citizenship because I did talk about it there first. I'm gonna try to get better at posting on Instagram. I'm like the worst at posting on Instagram, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna try to get better at it you know, but I just really appreciate the support. I appreciate you subscribing. I am so excited to have reached 2000 subscribers. I'm just Oh, that felt like a milestone that was a long time coming. It feels like it took forever to get from 1,000 to 2,000, but it's fine. I'm thrilled. So I just really appreciate you being here as always. And I really appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you for all the support and all the love. And I will see you guys soon.